Hey gang, this is Charles, Premier Guitar, and I'm with Johnny from Chicago's Daredevil Pedals. And we were just listening to the Atomic Cock, and, uh, which is like one of a bunch of really cool pedals, uh, fuzz-oriented stuff you got going. We're going to focus on the Atomic Cock here, because that's the, your newest, as well as this LSD. This is pretty, pretty new as well. But um, tell us about what you got, got going on this green box here. What we have is a variable fixed wah with a built-in boost, unlike conventional wahs. All your sweep is dialed in with a pot, so you kind of find your sweet spot, and you don't have to kind of fumble around with it. It's a true bypass, there's no buffers, so you don't have any tone coloration, and you can kind of blend in how much of the wah signal you want along with your boost. So it's kind of all in one, and you can just hit it and go, and you get some really cool tonal options too, because you got a full wah sweep in there. So. So apart from the fact that you don't have a, a foot sweepable pot, it's actually arguably more versatile than a lot of wahs because you got the blend and you got you got a variable gain, right? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, it's a lot quieter too, plus being true bypass. So you don't really get all the problems that people have with wahs. Uh, it's kind of the best of everything. Cool. You want to yeah. show us some tones? Yeah, for sure, man. We'll start with kind of the, uh, the sweep down a little bit and the, you know blend about halfway. Everything kind of straight up in the middle. You know, all those good squawky tones, um, a lot of guys, you know, Michael Shanker, Mick Ronson type stuff, which is cool. Uh, get a lot of great tones for like, if you want your leads to jump out, cool solo stuff too. Um, and as you can tell, if you if you roll this blend down, that's kind of the amount of the wah signal that you're getting. Even if you back that all the way off, you have a cool... You know, you still have a good gain boost that's built into the circuit. Um, so if you want it for solos, you can definitely get it to jump out enough with your signal. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot of things kind of in there that you can dial in and kind of get your unique spot. <laughs> So it's really nice. I mean, the gain has a really pronounced and, and nice voice all on its own. That's one of the most impressive things about this thing. Yeah, um, it kind of takes your wah tone and it adds a lot of good, like, kind of harmonic richness to it and a lot more sustain, uh, which is good because the, the reason I came up with this is I got tired of having to turn the wah on and then turn on a boost and then play a solo and then turn it off and then, you know, it's it was just too much to kind of find all your sweet spots in there. There's not really anything else like it that I've seen out there, so uh, so far the feedback's been great from people, you know. It's kind of a cool thing and a lot of guys can use it for just standard rhythm tones too. It doesn't have to really be a solo boost. You can kind of really dial in just some cool EQ type stuff. Now the LSD is pretty new as well, yeah. correct? I mean, last six months or so. Tell us about that a bit. Uh, I took kind of a vintage fuzz style circuit, really uh, kind of gnarly raw 60s tone, and I made it heavy and a lot more modern so that you can use it to get really good lows, a lot of output, and still have that kind of cool sag to it. You know, a lot of cool 70s riff rock and vintage style stuff, but still be really heavy and not have a noisy, old, kind of nasty sounding pedal. Want to take us on a little tour? So you get a lot of that low end sag, you know. Uh, it's silicone, so you do get really good output and really good treble bite too. Uh, as you kind of roll up the volume and the gain all the way, that's where you get some really nice lows. This one's great for a lot of drop tune stuff. Um, you know, you can get some really cool vintage tones if you kind of roll back the gain and volume. You can get some kind of weird octavey things in there too. Uh, for guys that just 
like more even kind of doom music or lower tunings, it's great. You can just max it out and, and still keep all that great big, you know, gained out low end. So, um, and like everything else, you know, these are all hand wired. This is true bypass. So they're kind of a steal too. I mean, you're talking is it 130? Is the map for this and yeah, or thereabouts? You know, um, this is a really new company. This is my first year, so I think I'm probably naive enough to sell these really cheap right now. Uh, Get them before he smarts up, people. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I'm tired of people having to pay like $300 for a uh, basic good sounding fuzz. And that's why I started building pedals, because I want things that touring and working musicians can afford. Kids can afford them and still have great tone and something that sounds unique for what they do. And that's where we're at. That's where we're at, man. You know? You got a website, right? Absolutely. Daredevilpedals.com. And there's great video demos and audio and stuff on the site. You can buy everything online. So check it out. Thanks, Johnny. It was a pleasure, yeah, man. man. Right on. Really nice stuff. This is awesome. Great, dude. Uh, like I said, get him while they're cheap before he wises up. He's a smart man. Thanks a lot, guys, for hanging out. This is Charles signing off for PremierGuitar.com.